been hot <laughs> with the driving reflection and it's about the 6-2. This could also perhaps apply to anybody with the 6 line and it's something that I've gotten to have some real life experience with ironing out in my own system, in my own psyche, in my own behavior and processes. And it's the 6 line skepticism. So, can you hear the Billie Holiday in the background? Um, the 6 line goes through its first phase of 30 years, which is all about trial and error. Now, this trial and error phase can create a skepticism in six line people. Because inherently, you're born with this understanding that you have a certain duty and responsibility to see things from the highest perspective, which can edge on perfectionism, idealism, and in its highest quality, be very visionary like and futuristic and actually understand where are we going, where are we headed. However, those first 30 years for a six line is about getting in you know, getting on the court, playing the game of life, getting messy, getting some bruises, getting knocked around a little bit, knocking other people around a little bit, bumping into things. And what this can create in the six line is a skepticism because it's like, well, if I know inherently that life can be like this, if these things are happening, I must be fucking up or the world must be fucking up. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on here. Um, something must be wrong. So I've done it wrong, which could maybe on a more energetic and emotional level come through as skepticism of like, I don't really know. I don't know what's happening here. And because I have this inherent capacity, I as in six line, insert yourself, because I have this inherent capacity to be able to see the silver lining and to be able to see how things can pan out, if it doesn't go that way, I am then going to be hella skeptical. Now, I have gotten to meet this a lot in myself. I will say it especially started kicking in around the age of like 27, which is when we have our noble reverse in astrology, which honestly, that was probably more powerful for me, although I'm still halfway through my Saturn return, more powerful for me than my Saturn return itself. And your nodal reverse, your nodal, nodal reversal, I hope that's what I said, is when the nodes collectively are in the opposite position of your birth. Meaning that everything's topsy-turvy, it's often a time where you don't really know what's going on, who you are, a lot is breaking down and disillusioning, and it can feel really, really intense. And I actually think that there are a lot of suicides that have been tracked that happen around that age, like 27. Um, I mean, God, that's a whole other topic that happens a lot, especially in our sick society. Um, but that skepticism really started kicking in for me around that time in my life, where probably from the age of like 18 when I left the States, carved my own way, made my own path, really started reprogramming my psyche, my psyche, studying yoga, tantra, getting into healing arts, being a part of vipassana, it's like all these things that just cracked my world open and helped me understand more about life and myself and my pains and my trauma. Uh, up until like 27, I was in this very like happy-go-lucky, kind of like almost impenetrable force field of innocence. And I think that that is a real gift here with the six line, is it can feel like skepticism, but really, in a way, we're sacrificing this uh, inherent innocence in order to be worked by life, in order to be shown the darker sides of some things and understand that life does not always um, pan out in the way that it could or should, or even with the best of intentions, shit's still gonna happen, you know? Um, you're gonna lose friends, you're gonna lose people, you're gonna go through changes in your own self-identity and um, with that six line idealism and the visionary who's up on the roof saying like, get me out of the drama, I wanna know where we're going, I don't have time for the bullshit, has to go through the initiations of some bullshit, which can feel, um, you know, highly skeptic inducing in the system. And I have gotten to iron out, I've been using that term a lot, and when I say iron out, it's almost as if, right, like there's wrinkles on clothes and you use the heat and the pressure to make it smooth again. And that's a term I like to use when I have discovered something that is kind of wrinkled in my subconscious, in my emotions, in my interactions, in my behavior. It's like, oh, that's a wrinkle. That's not in its pure flowing state. Like, let's iron that out with a little bit of heat. Heat as in attention. Heat as in inquiry. Heat as in self-assessment. And some pressure. Let's stick with this. Let's stay with this. Let's take some self-responsibility. And I feel blessed to have some really great people who offer me clear reflection in my life and I've been getting to see 
the skepticism of me coming to the end of my six line first phase, um, being 29 now, and kind of in this last year of the experimentation, seeing like, wow, I have definitely collected some skepticism and I've got a little bit of uh, the cynical residue under my belt and just like sitting with that and understanding that just because the six line may have felt let down and not able to fully live out its visionary capacity or you know some dreams broke like, there's so many things in my life that maybe I thought could have gone a certain way but just because they didn't doesn't extract any wisdom or depth that actually adds to it which is what the first phase is all about as a six line so here's my invitation into inquiry for yourself as a six line being you can be a six two a six three a three six a four six where has your skeptic and your cynic gotten the best of your inherent wisdom of your capacity to inherently see the wisdom in all of life and i'm not talking about this like pseudo spiritual bypassy way of like oh yeah it's all love like i'll also tell you, tell you i my threshold for those kind of phony pseudo statements when they're really just being used as a mask has grown very small <laughs> i can see it so quick and it's actually walking the talk right like not just saying oh it's all wisdom it's all love but actually what are we embodying and that starts with ourselves. so i've gotten to example maybe you'll have your own reflection through me sharing mine a blue jay literally just crossed my path i have gotten to iron out some cynical uh, patterns that i've carried in my mind in my heart in my field around love god recently i got to really iron some things out and see real time Ooh, kelly your inner cynic and, and pessimistic not pessimistic it's it's skeptical your inner skeptic is really uh narrating a lot of unhealthy stories in your mind right now that are inhibiting you from actually receiving something that is so beautiful and so lovely and so pure and true and i got to sit with my skeptic real time and iron it out are you true is this real or am i projecting my let down and fear onto you in the situation in order to validate some old hurt oh no 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 this isn't true I'm coming back to my heart and that is so powerful so maybe there's a way that you can notice in your own life as a six line you've grown you've grown a little skeptical and believe me i understand how sometimes it can actually feel really empowering to have a healthy skeptic and i'm a capricorn rising i am very discerning i like to have some hardness in my frame and like to be able to hold myself well and to be able to say no and to be able to navigate with with firmness and hold my frame in that way and the deepest truth in my heart and in my being and where all the magic happens is when i'm open to life and to learn to only wield that firmness um, when it's necessary and when it's really serving serving you serving your refinement serving your heart serving a community serving something you believe in or care about but that skeptic can really take over without us knowing about it and i think that if that skeptic, that six line skeptic goes unchecked, you can make really bitter role models, right? Like think of a healthy evolutionary six line. They're encouraging you and they're telling what you really see and they're, tr they're a trusted advisory, rooted in self-responsibility, rooted in clearly seeing you without the filter and the mire of their own, you know, collected dust <laughs> and collected pains. And think of an unevolved six line. That's the bitter role model who's like, don't do that. Oh, just wait till you're older. God, I can't tell you how much I hate it when people told me that when I was younger. Oh, just wait till you're older. And it's like, what happened in your life that made you so skeptical? And you want to push that onto other people to validate your own reality. Um, so check the skeptic. Really ask, is this serving my opening? That's a very strong six line journey real time so just making this little video i am promptly ordering a uh, dashboard holder because i drive a lot and i love making videos while i'm driving because my brain just like does this thing saturn in the third house saturn return aquarius moon i love being in motion and it really allows the motion of my thoughts and teachings to come through so that's coming <laughs> asap <laughs> so I can also do this more safely. Anywho, hope that this video resonated for whoever it's meant to resonate for, and let me know your thoughts below if you're a six-line, if you can struggle with skepticism, um, blocking the inherent wisdom of your heart to metabolize life, bring it to fullness, to not get bogged down by the broken dreams or 
the misperceived intentions or the roads that didn't quite go where you thought they would. Okay, lots of love. I'm out. Catch you on the next video.